What's going on guys, I'm with Moose and today we're on Flashback Thursday. I don't really understand why they pick Thursday. Maybe it's because Football Outsiders are coming out every Friday, but we'll see. Either way, Flashback Thursday is always going to be fun, at least, you know, throughout the season. Hopefully they keep doing this. It's a, it's a lot of fun right now, but first up, we have a new Nick Fairley set. He is an 88 overall defensive tackle, of course on the Detroit Lions. This is from week one, 2013. He was a beast back then. Still pretty good nowadays, if I remember correctly, but definitely a monster, um, you know, on the Lions, I, I would say. So obviously flashback badge. There's a new solo in the game where you get another one of those for free. So really, those are basically free, honestly. I mean, you could do that set, I think, which is like five elite badges or something crazy. Just do the solo. So we got 12,000 or yeah, 12,500 for week one collectible. Let's see what else. This one looks like kind of expensive. So 36K. Um, you know, going for around 48,000 or so, so far, doing this math quickly in my head, 17K, we'll call that 65,000 total, five total tackles, what is this one going for, also kind of expensive, 35 or so, so we're now up to, you know, roughly 100K, obviously it's just, like I said, rough math, but we'll see, and then 130K total for this entire set, you know, like I said, roughly, so that's pretty decent, you know, pretty expensive defensive tackle, at least in my mind, only an 88 overall, you know, pretty good card. It should be very, very good, actually. Haven't even looked at him, but it should be a fun one. But let's take a look at the other, uh, you know, guy up here, Robert Griffin III. We'll show you guys Nick Fairley's card in just a sec. Remember, it was going for around 130K if you wanted to do this set. Now, RG3, this card is in packs for 48 hours only. That is uh, the deal with these, you know, Flashback Thursdays. There's going to be one new set and then one new, um, you know, 48 hour limited time card. This RG3, of course, going for a lot, 320,000 coins right now. It's an absolute monster, 89 overall QB with, um, what chemistry is this? Uh, chain mover chemistry, I don't know why I can remember that, but CM is chain mover chemistry. He's 6'2", 88 speed, that's the big stat everybody looks at, of course, with RG3. 88 speed's one of the fastest QBs in the entire game, might be the fastest, I'm not, I, you know, I can't say that for sure. There might be some random silver card or something that's faster, but it's definitely up there as one of the fastest QBs in the entire game. 91 throw power, 93 throw accuracy short, and then it kind of falls off. 85 throw accuracy mid's pretty solid, but 79 deep could be a huge issue for you guys. So just be aware that if you get this card, don't be, you know, hucking it deep and expecting it to be great results because his throw action deep is just not that amazing. But 91 throw on the run is awesome. I would love to snag this card. It's an absolute beast. I still have yet to get Dak Prescott. So we'll see. Maybe I end up getting RG3 instead as, uh, you know, I'll be looking to upgrade my team soon enough. Once we get Mutt Master done, I'm going to be going ham and seeing what we can do. But that's, uh, you know, a work in progress and we'll see where we can get. But let's take a look at Nick Fairley real quick see what he's looking like and then we're opening some packs for that rg3 he's going for 174,000 coins right now so if the same thing applies later on you know later on today later on this week and whatnot just be aware of it the set might be cheaper to do than the actual cards are going for like i said the set was going for roughly 130,000 coins you guys can do the math yourself um but this you know card in the auction house going for 174 it's probably a better deal to do the set now Six foot four, 77 speed. That's actually pretty quick for a DT. 86 speed, 87 power move. You know, nothing jumps off the page at me, honestly. You know, that block shed's not too crazy. The power move's not insane, but the speed is pretty nice. 77 speed. It's not you know super fast, but he's a very balanced, very, very good defensive tackle. I don't think he's going to be dominant in a certain portion of the game, but, um, you know, he's going to be very, very solid for you and uh, should be a fun card to use. So Nick Fairley, very cool card, but RG3 is definitely the cream of the crop in terms of this drop. Uh, you know, this Thursday, throwback Thursday or flashback Thursday, whatever they want to call it. Um, but let's get into it. We got five ultimate pack bundle. We're definitely not opening that. That is insane. But if you want to go for it, be my guest and let me know what you get in the comments down below. You get four flashback items and a flashback badge as the topper today. And then uh, the ultimate pack, it's back from last year, it contains one elite player, 15 gold or better players, and a guaranteed mutt gear or mutt tip item along with three additional team items. So we're going to open one of these with the points I have, you know, laying around from, you know, <laughs> other bundles that I open and whatnot. We're going to open one of those and then some pro packs. But let's hop right into it with an ultimate pack. We get 15 gold or better players and a guaranteed elite. This could be fire or it could be complete trash. We'll see JJ Wilcox starting us off. That is not a good sign. Dude sucks on the Cowboys. So we'll see if we get anything better. Got an elite right here and it is going to be a Cameron Jordan. One of the worst ones you can get, I'm sure. 78 speed, 87 tackle, 83 block shed. 92 power moves, cool, but otherwise really not too jazzed up about that. I hope that's not my guaranteed elite, or if it is, I hope we get an inserted elite somewhere else. Got a TJ Yeldon here, hoping for a big year for him since I have him on one of my fantasy teams. That would be a great if he could have a nice year. Got a Brandon Oliver, a ton of 75 overalls, of course. 
Always kind of expect that, but never want to see it. Got a Tyrod Taylor. I'll take that. Not sure if he goes for much. Hey, Dominic Rodgers, Camardi. That's a very good poll. We'll take a look at him in just a bit here. But uh, always solid to get a DRC card, especially in Mutt. Everybody in Mutt loves uh, DRC. And I mean, for good reason. He's a great player. And, um, you know, he has great cards almost every single year. We got a couple coaches right there. What else are we going to get? D'Angelo Hall had a great career. Um, I guess he's still playing, though. I'm not even really sure, to be honest. Got a Danny Amendola and our last item. Oh, all right, good. I thought it might have been the Mutt tip. I think we get one more gold player. I didn't count him up, but let's see what it is. Gold player, it's going to be a Demario Davis. So this pack, not really that hot. We got one elite, of course. It's the guaranteed elite. Cameron Jordan, not very good. And then DRC was our only other pull over 80 overall. He is pretty solid. 89 speed, 91 excel, 88 man, 80 zone. Very good card at this point in the game. But otherwise, really not too hype about that pack. I'm probably going to stay away from those for the remainder of the season honestly they're not very good at least in my opinion but let's get into the pro packs we'll open up i don't know five six seven something like that a random number to see if we can get that rg3 right here i uh, got a zach moore andy reed where is it at though are you guys excited for football tonight it's going to be insane got a dwight lowry right there obviously you know i'm not a fan of either team playing tonight the panthers and the uh, broncos but should be a fun game regardless let me know if you guys are going to be watching it i believe i don't really have anybody on my fantasy teams that are on those specific teams that's i mean honestly let's be real that's the reason why i watch so much football is just because of fantasy football it's so much fun obviously i love the sport in general but just the fact that you can watch um you know games and you know kind of participate alongside with your fantasy team makes it pretty fun for me but um i think i, I have like the broncos kicker maybe i think i have mcmanus something like that it's uh really you know simple i only or maybe it's graham Gano. maybe i have Gano. i don't know i have one of the kickers for one of the teams i don't know who it is but um you know that's pretty much all i have so i'm you know not really gonna pay too much attention to uh you know my fantasy teams during the game I'm just gonna kind of watch and enjoy as football is back obviously sunday is a huge day as well when pretty much every single team plays uh cowboys giants at like 425 i think is that that's gonna be fire cannot wait for it of course let's go cowboys and hopefully they can take a victory I'm, I'm hoping that we can still have a good year we'll see dak prescott has showed a lot in the preseason i think we could be good hey terrence williams right there he showed a pretty good amount in the preseason too hopefully he shows up this season because uh, I feel like it's been years at this point where we've been saying that he'll uh, finally make the you know, take the next step, become the uh, you know next guy under Dez. But we'll see. But yeah, like I was saying, just excited for football season. Let me know if you guys are excited as well. Let me know who you're rooting for, if anybody, tonight. But let's go. Final pro pack. Final chance at RG3, at least today. Maybe we'll open packs tomorrow as well. Like I said, football outsider is probably on the way. Where's RG3? Not here. Got an Eric Reed. And that will do it for me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit a like down below. And like I said, let me know if you're watching the game tonight and if you're excited for football to be back. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.